the K. Ryan Center for the Arts is a home for storytelling uh, through through the arts, through music, through theater, yeah. and, and any activity that lists the human spirit. Yeah. And I see, I see, we see Ear Taxi doing that. And uh, to be to be selected as the opening day and the closing day is uh, just an honor beyond belief. Mm-hmm. We are we are just beside ourselves in uh, what this means. Uh, for for our community, for our city, and for the world. That was something entirely brand new for our children. Never, you know, I don't know if they ever dreamed that they'd be playing a, an instrument, but <laughs> you know, the ones who who uh, signed up did not know. Right. So, and the beauty of it was they didn't have to have any kind of training. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Ravinia just took them where they were. All they had to do is have commitment. Mm-hmm. It's a five days a week of practicing. Yeah. And so I think we're in about our ninth year for the for the orchestra. And so that's going to be a great thing for them to be able to, and the children in the school, because they've seen our orchestra play, mm-hmm. but not necessarily uh, the world playing. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. they already know that they have a lot and they're very appreciative of what uh, Catholic schools can do for them. Mm-hmm. But I think this will open their eyes up to a more broader sense. Yeah. And also when the community comes in, you know, I think that's one of the great things that we we have been able to host different, you know, different diverse uh, acts at the, you know, at KCA mm-hmm. that they may not have thought it was going to be there or, right. you know, hadn't really heard of it. And you know, that's the beauty, I think, that the, uh, that the Austin community is going to see from KCA. Yeah, so, okay, so I have a question for Ed. Um, I know you ha- might have to go or change methods quickly, but I have an, a, a question for you. So take me to back to the email or phone conversation when uh, leadership team, maybe Jenny, uh, reached out to you and said, hey, can we bring Ear Taxi Festival to the K Ryan Center, both on opening and on closing? What was your first re- reaction? Hallelujah! <laughs> bring it! Bring it! <laughs> I, I couldn't wait to bring the news to Sharon, and mm. um, and uh, we thought about it very shortly, and it, it really was a no-brainer. It's like when she uh, explained to me a little bit. Um, what their vision was for it, um, and and just knowing uh, how hard we had worked to bring this uh, center to life, it, it's like uh, manna from heaven. Uh, really, uh, yeah. it, it was just a natural fit. It, it took very little thought, and the only question was, let's uh, thought was let's let's put our hands to it and, mm-hmm. and make it happen. Uh, yeah. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Uh, this is what this. Uh, this really uh, just goes to the, the foundation, which the K-Rhine Center, by the way, Glenn and Lonnie K-Rhine, uh, who uh, started the, uh, uh, on that corner nearly 50 years ago, mm-hmm. uh, began it as a work of racial reconciliation. Wow. And so as uh, Glenn told me the story when he first walked me through this building, uh, you know, nearly uh, 18 years or so ago, um, you know, he was standing on top of one of those rooftops uh, in the 1960s during mm-hmm. the civil unrest and watching the fires rage on the west side of Chicago. And wow. it, it was put into their hearts to uh, begin a work of racial reconciliation. And so it, it's kind of like Ear Taxi is an echo to that. <laughs> to yes. that yes. Thing. And uh, it, we just see it as a powerful way Mm-hmm. Uh, to to really uh, stand because the mission is so strong and it's so evident in the work that you both are doing. So I really appreciate it, and like I said, I'm excited to see the Taxi Festival at the Karen K Ryan Center um, for years to come. Hopefully, this is like a oh, hopefully, hopefully, that would be great. That would be great. We <laughs> would love that. We yeah. would love that, and we we really hope that. Uh, Air Taxi considers this their their home. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's exciting. Right. And like I said, we Air Taxi Festival staff is ready 
to jump in and like help out in every single way Sharon so don't awesome. feel like you have to manage everything by yourself awesome I know awesome. I'm, I'm glad you said that because you know I've been freaking out like oh God, you know can I can I last that long can I do that you got but it, we, it we was uh, what I yeah, is what I like to see when people come in for the first time mm -hmm. and I've seen it a lot of times but I saw it so vividly with you two because you were younger, you know, you were established and you had your own organization and, you know, it, it was just such a joy mm. to see how excited you both were. And, you know, we just said right off, oh yeah, we're making this happen. We don't care. <laughs> so, you know, and then I was just so um, joyful to hear about what you were going to do. I couldn't wait till you left so I could tell everybody. <laughs> Man, Black Opera, you know, it's like I was blowing my mind by a, uh, a rap singer. Like, okay, this is going to be something else for more. Come and see it. I know they're going to be calling oh, yeah. us. You can it's just going to be an calls. avalanche. I know it. You know, I'm so, so grateful <laughs> to your taxi and Jenny and so excited at that. I, you know, I can tell. I know what's coming. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, Robin, just thank, thanks to you and the organization for believing in, yes. in this community. And yeah. so, you know, one other project right now, major project Sharon and I are working on is a symposium on housing uh, mm. to be uh, out of the KCA October 16th. And uh, it's there are three moments to it. The first moment is really taking a look at the history of how we got here. Mm -hmm. uh, and really taking a hard look at uh, redlining and contract buying yeah. and, and that stripped black wealth. And wow. so and so that portion of our people that, that was stripped, uh, now someone like your taxi comes along and says, no, we're, we're changing that history. Right. We're, we're, put, we're putting you back on the map. We're giving yeah. you voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, and that's exactly what you're doing. And so that is just uh, that that just uh, lifts up the community, which lifts all of us up. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. Well, I'll say on behalf of the It Taxi Festival leadership team, I know that we are all so so excited to come in and you know support this community through music. We, to engage with this community through music and mm -hmm. um, yeah we're so excited so thank you both for opening oh. up your home to ear taxi festival and like i said i hope that it happens for many many years in the future yep yes. our, our home is your home yes